These three young men have traveled a long way to be close to their idol. The German city of Trier, where Karl Marx was born, has become a place of pilgrimage for Chinese tourists. He was a uh, pioneer of communism. Many Chinese admire him, yeah. The Chinese government would like to give this Marx statue, reaching more than six meters tall, to the city of Trier to honor the 200th anniversary of Marx's birth. The design, made by the well-known sculptor Professor Wu Wei Shan, impressed Trier's mayor. I was thrilled when I saw the quality of the artwork that Professor Wu wants to give us. It has nothing to do with the typical Stalinist representations, which have somewhat influenced our view of Karl Marx. But he had planned to accept it without consulting Trier's residents, and it's too much for them. It's too big, it doesn't suit Trier, there's not an appropriate spot. Smaller would be better. For me, it's nothing more than a personality cult. It's just another advertisement that Trier can use for its commercial interests. People living in Trier, the oldest city in Germany, are proud of other things. For instance, the oldest well-preserved Roman city gate, the Porta Nigra or the important Christian pilgrimage site, St. Matthias's Abbey, where the Apostle Matthias is buried. To help city residents gain an impression of how large the gift from China actually is, a wooden representation has been made. The city is certainly not shy about promoting the statue. And the wooden portrayal is erected in the heart of the city, despite the weather. 6 meters 40, including the pedestal. And there's been a lot of interest, while Mayor Leiba canvasses for the artwork. The artist in China is even channeled in via smartphone. Will all of this effort win over Trier's citizens? When you see how China deals with freedom of the press and human rights, you really have to stop and think about whether you should accept a gift from China. Somewhat smaller than this size would be more acceptable to me. There will be people who like it and those that don't. We will never be able to convince everyone about it. Residents still have a few days to express their opinion about the large present from China. The city council is due to make its final decision next week.